Read them up my reggae bass lovers, welcome back to the Reggae Bass Hub with me, Don Chandler, aka Don Instrumental. Now I didn't expect to be making a Robbie Shakespeare part 2 so soon, but on the 8th of December 2021, the reggae world got the sad news that it had just lost one of its greatest bass creators. Now you may notice I use the term bass creator and not bass player. This is because Robbie Shakespeare, alongside long-term producer, stroke drummer, Sly Dunbar, are so much more than just drum and bass players. Now Sly and Robbie have churned out so many hits over the years that when it came time to thinking what I was going to choose for a top five for this video, I actually had no idea where to start. So do I have a Robbie Shakespeare favorite? Yes, if I had to pick one, that would be Jammin' by Al Campbell, which is a bass line I featured way back in my 20 Roots medley. And in that medley, there's probably about 10 Robbie Shakespeare bass lines in there. Now there are some obvious bass lines I could have featured in this video, like Baltimore by the Tamlins, Revolution, Dennis Brown, anything from the Black Uhuru, Slang Robbie produced catalogue. But I wanted to pick five simple bass lines that I believe that you should know and may not have come across some of them. Now there are some obvious bass lines I could have chosen for this video like Baltimore by the Tamlins, Revolution, Dennis Brown, anything from the Black Uhuru, Slang Robbie produced catalogue. But I wanted to choose five simple Robbie Shakespeare bass lines I believe you should know, maybe some of you should know, maybe some you don't know are Robbie Shakespeare. So for all of you long-term Sly and Robbie fans out there, stick in the comments what you feel any newbies that have come to this channel and are not sure where to start when it comes to checking out Robbie Shakespeare bass lines. And it's a great introduction for any newbies to start diving into and start exploring the world of Sly and Robbie. So what makes Robbie Shakespeare so great? It's the ability to come up with these really simple patterns, sometimes just two or three notes, but when combined with Sly Dunbar's unorthodox drumming style, they create this push and pull excitement in the rhythm that anything you put on top, any vocalist that goes on top, it's almost a guaranteed hit. So let's dive into my five bass lines, not necessarily top five bass lines, but five very simple Robbie Shakespeare bass lines that I've chosen that I believe you guys need to know. First on our list is a Sly and Robbie trademark rhythm, the Unmetered Taxi, recorded I think in 1980. Now, in reggae world, we just know this as the taxi rhythm. So we're in the key of D major, and our first note will be A, which is the fifth fret on the E string. Then we have D, fifth fret on the A string, E, seventh fret on the A string, back to A, we have a passing C sharp, which is fret four on the A string. And for variation, we will play a B fret seven on the E string. So the bass line goes like this, I'll play it slowly first. A, D, A, D, E, back to A. Hear that pass in C sharp again. B this time. So I'll play it along with the track so you can hear how it sounds. In at number two, we have a bass line that came off of an album 
it was just called Aini Komozi. It was an Aini Komozi showcase album, which only had six tracks on it. At the time, it was the first time I had ever heard the term mini LP. But on this album were some bass lines that you would have come across recently. And one of them would have been from Damien Marley's Welcome to Jamrock. So that bass line originally was called World of Music by Aini Komozi. So this song is in the key of G minor and the first three notes are taken straight from the G minor scale. So we have G fret 3 on your E string, A which is fret 5 on your E string and B flat fret 6 on your E string. And then we have the fifth which is D which is fret 5 on your A string. So the, the first three notes are straight from the G minor scale in reverse. Then play the fifth, which as you know is the bass line from Welcome to Jamrock. So let's play this along with the track and see how this sounds. Number three is one of my favourite Sly and Robbie moments and it reminds me of a time when I met Robbie Shakespeare because we were both sharing a show together. We, I did half of the show and Sly and Robbie did half of the show and in this picture you may wonder what is going on here but this is Robbie Shakespeare showing me how to play this bass line correctly. This is a underground reggae anthem called Heart Made of Stone by the Viceroys. So the bass line is in the key of F sharp minor. So the intro of this song goes a little something like this. We start on the open E, then we go from the open E to F sharp, then we drop down to the B, fret two on your A string, D, fret five, on your A string, C sharp fret 4 on your A string, A fret 5 on your E string, back to F sharp fret 2 on your E string. So the intro is like this. Then back to the B and it does trademark Robbie slide here. Play the same thing again. And you're going to C sharp and uh, E fret 2 on your D string. So I'll play the whole thing again. Slide. leads us into the main part of the bass line which is our Robbie Shakespeare aggressive octaves. So we start on fret 4 of the D string and we drop down an octave to fret 2 on the E string then it's got the C sharp fret 4 on the A string and they sound a little bit something like this. So that can be a little bit challenging if you're new to the bass guitar. So just practice it slowly and build it up till it becomes comfortable. Um, the bass line goes something like this. Then we add this C sharp on fret four A string and the E fret two on the D string. Another trademark of Robbie Shakespeare is to play two patterns within one song. So that's the first pattern within the song. And then you have this other pattern which goes F sharp, fret four, D string, to G sharp, 
fret 6 on your D string to C sharp fret 4 on your A string so we've got that's a hammer there so we get B now I always thought that this was a B to A but it's really B to G sharp so it's B G sharp B G sharp then back to the octaves starts on the fifth first so I'll play that again for you In at number four, we have another favorite of mine. It's called Wailing Rudy by Gregory Isaacs. This one had a couple of geeky moments of mine, which I will explain a little bit later. So here we're in the key of G minor and I'll give you the notes straight away. We've got G fret three on your E string, D fret five on your A string, drops down to F, which is fret one on your E string. So we get G, D, F. Then we get this C, fret three on your A string, D fret five on your A string, F fret three on your D string. When you play that, you get, play that again, C, D, F, and back to D. So play the bass line together, we get, So earlier you heard me say Robbie likes to play these two patterns within a song and in this tune he plays one pattern on the verse and another pattern on the chorus. So we just did the verse and this is the chorus. So we get G fret 3 on the E string, then we get D fret 5 on the A string, G fret 5 on the D string. So we get G, D, G, D. We get F fret three on the D string, C fret three on the A string. We get But what's interesting about this chorus is it has nine bars. Where we're all pretty used to a chorus usually having eight bars. This chorus has nine bars, and once again, it's not a mistake because it happens in every chorus. So let's play this with the backing track and see how this bass line sounds. Oh, let me tell you about the other geeky moment. So, so you have Robbie Shakespeare playing these downbeats. As we start the verse, Slide Dunbar pulls out beat two, leaving this D exposed for Robbie all by himself and listen to how it sounds with the backing track. Remove beat two. Thank you. 
Robbie Shakespeare bass line number five. I've left this to laugh because this is quite easily in my top two of all time Robbie Shakespeare bass lines. Now this is called King Pharaoh's Plague by Yabiyu, recorded back in I think 1976. And once again, it features our Robbie Shakespeare aggressive octave. So let's have a look at the notes first. So we're in the key of F minor. The intro starts with Robbie playing F fret three on the D string, E flat fret one on the D string, C fret three on the A string, B flat fret one on the A string, back to the C, we play a A flat here, which is fret four on the E string. So if we put that together, we get Now that is a minor pentatonic in full effect right there. And the verse of the tune is generally just Robbie swinging away on his octave. So we have a low F here, fret one on the E string, and we have the octave, which is fret three on the D string. And the bass line is simply That is it. Here we have the second pattern, fret three, which is F on the D string, E flat fret one on the D string. Back to F fret three, we get, then drop down to the low F fret one on the E string. Back to the octave F. Here we get A flat fret four on the E, C fret three on the A. B flat fret one on the A string. Back to the C. This time we finish on the A flat. So together we get. Then back to our octaves. So we get this point where the band drops down the semitone and Robbie Shakespeare plays plays the E, fret two on the D string, open E, and then finishes on the fifth, which is the C, fret three of the A string. So we get. I will play along with the backing track so you can hear the whole bass line in context. Our five Robbie Shakespeare magic moments that I believe you guys should learn. They're all pretty simple bass lines. Well, Robbie has some more, a lot more intricate bass lines, which I may feature in another video. But I think, especially for you new guys, you can start with these five pretty simple bass lines, and it'll be a introduction for you to dive a lot deeper into, especially Sly and Robbie productions. Now, as usual, all of these backing tracks will be in the description, and the PDF will be. In the description please keep your eyes peeled for some new material that's coming and stay safe don't forget to subscribe click that like button and i will see you in the next video read him up